Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about everything that I thrifted in January. If you watch my videos, you know I'm always drinking coffee. I've always got a mug and I got a new mug. I'm so excited. I'm trying to be very selective with the mugs that I buy because I, I have a lot of them and so like I need to chill but this one I had to have. I had to have it. It's from the MoMA and it is so cute. One cannot have too much yellow. If you watched my trend videos, you know that I was a huge advocate for bright yellow. Anyways, I'm doubling down. I love bright yellow and I love this. It makes me so happy. Today I want to talk about everything that I thrifted in January. If you didn't watch my last video, it was all about the low buy year that I'm doing for 2024. And so I just wanted to make these videos pretty much like at the end of every month to show you everything that I've bought. So for January, I didn't buy anything brand new, but I did get six thrifted items and I'm very excited to show you. So let's just like jump right into it. So I'm gonna show you everything I got. And then for the second half of the video, I'm going to style each item. Gotten some feedback from you guys that you really like when I like try it on and style it. So since there's not like a ton of stuff, I'm just gonna like buzz through it real quick and then we'll focus on styling for the majority of the video. So yeah, I'm really excited. So my first purchases of the year were these two vintage coach belts that I got on eBay. I had bought a vintage Dunian Burke belt in December and I was so obsessed with it, but it's a little bit bigger. It's got like a bigger belt buckle. And so I wanted just some like thin belts before the Dunian Burke belt. I didn't really have a belt. I had like one belt, but it was at my in-laws that I forgot. So like I didn't really have a belt and now I have four. <laughs> These were just too good. I couldn't pass them up. This first one is just this really nice tan color. And then what's interesting is, well, first of all, all of the hardware on these vintage coats belts are 100% brass, which I love. And then they've got this little coach tassel and it hangs off of the buckle. I don't think I'll wear them with this dangling. I don't know, maybe I will, I'll play around with it. It's definitely like a fun little style choice. I've seen a lot of little wallets be a part of belts and little, like a lot of dangling things off of belts right now. So actually this might be like playing into a current trend, but I don't know, we'll see how I feel. I probably will just wear this as a standard belt and take this off and I'm, I'm gonna keep it obviously. And then the second one is this dark red color, of course. I really love red, I love bright red, but I've been getting into dark red a little bit more. And I actually, these Mary Janes, so when I bought these, like the Jane Ballet flats. I thought they were gonna be a bright red because on the website they looked really bright red and then I was like, whatever, they were pretty comfy. So I was like, I'll wear them anyways. I think these work together really, really nicely. And I think this just gives my outfits like a nice little pop, little, little touch of color when I don't want something too extravagant. I think fun belts is a really easy way to make your outfit stylish without putting in a ton of work. Day to day when I'm going to work and stuff, I my outfits need to be a little bit more functional. And so adding like these just like fun little vintage pops through a belt can kind of just take my outfit to that that next level and make me feel stylish while also being like extremely functional. I've been really loving these, super cute. I haven't, I don't think I've worn the red one actually. I haven't been able to wear these like all winter cause it's just too slushy out. I think this will be like a fun, a fun spring, spring pairing or this will be really cute in the fall. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. But yeah, these were a great purchase. I was so happy to find them. Definitely check out vintage belts on eBay. This is like my new love and the leather is so good. And this one was like barely worn. This is, these are from the nineties. This is part of their like nineties handmade collection. Way cheaper than what I would get for a leather belt at like a modern store brand new. Yeah. Okay. Enough about those. So then yesterday I actually went to Crossroads and I sold that Crossroads for the first time and I really should have filmed it, but I honestly like did not have high hopes. I didn't think they would give me a lot of money. I was like, this, this will be a waste of time for me to like fill film it and film the whole process and then like be like, oh, I made $15. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna get like $30 max. I brought in two big like Ikea bags and they only took half, but they gave me $120 in credit. So you could either do 120 in credit or $90 in cash. And I was like, well, give me the credit. I'm sure I'll find something. So that's what I did. I got the $120 in Crossroads credit. And then I got four things. My husband got one thing and I still had money left over. So it was amazing. I was really shocked at how much they took. Like I was, it was so easy. Like if you're in New York city and you have like just shit to get rid of, I would highly recommend going to Crossroads. So yeah, let me show you what I got starting out with this top. You guys, this is so cute. This has been on like my wish list, something like this. I didn't want to buy it new because it does feel very trendy. This is perfect. So this is by Maeve. It's that line of anthropology, which I love. So I got this really cute, really cute top. I believe it's, it's just like a button up plain, you know, blue stripes. And then this ruffle is so cool. And I love that it comes down and it has like this V neck. I don't know. I've been seeing this silhouette a lot lately and I've been obsessed. I was super excited. Um, a lot of the stuff I got is actually a, like for spring. I'm so over the winter you 
guys like I never thought I was the type of person who would be affected by gray skies but oh mama I am done I'm done with winter I don't want to wear sweaters anymore I want to bust out like the cute spring stuff and this is going to be amazing I also feel like it feels a little bit like nautical which I like like a little bit of a navy sailor vibe I, I mean what more can I say it's just truly stunning so cute I love it. Okay, and then the next top is also very spring summer. I feel like my winter stuff have down pat. I have been focused on these just like very girly lightweight blouses. This one is originally from And Other Stories. It also has kind of like this v-neck going on, so I guess I'm just like really into this cut lately on a blouse. Like eyelet trimming all around the neck, all the way to the back. Yeah, that eyelet detail up and down the front of the blouse, and then also on the sleeves. I think the sleeves are my favorite part. There's just like a lot of detail on there a lot of eyelet a lot of like layering of this trim I've been on the hunt for a white blouse since last summer actually I had put it in one of my thrift hauls that I was looking for like a Parisian style white kind of puffy blouse and I think this is definitely it like I said I think this can go very Parisian it can also go very Scandi like the Scandi influencers if you know you know it just it just felt very romantic very feminine which is definitely the kind of style that I lean into and then I thrifted two skirts another spring summer piece I actually own this skirt in a magenta color and I also own the matching halter top this one I could only find this skirt and this is by Stodd and then of course in my perfect size are you kidding me this is like a 200 300 skirt and it was 42 bucks still a little high but it's crossroads and you know I ended up paying nothing so it's fine this is right up my alley for spring and summer especially summer I don't really love to wear short shorts that's not really my style in the summer and so I tend to wear these long cotton or linen skirts all summer long and so I thought this pink would be a great addition it's more of like a peachy pink which I feel like I usually go for like a more true ballerina pink but I think this actually works well with my skin tone so we'll see so cute so cute I know I'm gonna wear this all summer and then the last thing I got was also another skirt and this one's definitely more fall and winter this is really cool so it's like this a-line skirt it's this olive green color and this is originally by this was a JW Anderson Uniqlo collab fits me perfectly also they had it marked as a size two it's a size six it's got pockets it's like this quilted material sometimes in the winter I I don't know what to wear and so I just like throw on leggings and this would be like an easy piece to wear over leggings so I'm like still got the warmth from the, like that thermal layer of leggings but then I can add more of like a fun fashion piece on top and I think I could even wear this with like just a plain black turtleneck and it would look so cute and I think this might also look really good with my hunters I think it's just kind of an unexpected look this like quilted kind of like taking a bomber jacket but making a skirt out of it so that is everything that I thrifted in January we got two belts two tops and two skirts okay Okay, and now that I've showed you everything that I bought in January, let's move on to styling them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this top first since I am already wearing it. I put the brown coach belt on so you could see this little dangly thing. I don't hate it, but I don't know. I think it just, it looks like I forgot to take something off. Yeah, I think I prefer it just like a normal belt. I really love it though. I just feel like it really, when I wear I tuck something in and I add a belt now, I feel like instantly more stylish than just tucking something in. I feel like it's just a really good stylistic choice. It looks a little bit more put together, like, like I thought about my outfit, do you know what I mean? Absolutely love this. Like I love this top paired with this belt, paired with the dark jeans, the gold like bobble earrings, the gold earrings tie really nice into this brass. You can see these jeans are like a wide cut. The only problem I'm having is I have no idea what shoes to wear with this. Like no clue. I really want to get a pair of loafers. Oh, I actually, one second. Okay, these are the only shoes that I think would work. Made well, they're like these sparkly mule loafers. I actually got these on Poshmark a couple of years ago. The problem is that I hate mules. I don't like how, like they're, they do something weird to my foot where I feel like, I don't know, I just don't like the openness in the back. So maybe, I mean, I'll just throw these on so we can see, because I was I was literally just gonna show you this outfit with no shoes, because I, I don't know what shoes to wear. Okay, yeah, these are cute, but I hate them. <laughs> I hate the way they feel. I definitely, I don't know, I was thinking about getting a black pair of loafers, but now I'm like, ooh, like a light brown might be really cute, especially for the spring. I think I usually gravitate towards lighter browns in the spring, and I go for like a black leather in the fall and the winter. And that's why I pulled out my vintage Dooney and Burke that I haven't worn yet because like I said, this feels very spring to me. It looks really good with this belt. Like this pairing is really cute. I think this is like the perfect bag for this top. And then one more little thing that I wanted to add was this quilted jacket that I thrifted in December. These look so good together. I am so excited because I really didn't have many outfits planned. I could obviously wear it like this, you know, it would be like whatever. But 
I think what I would do is get this collar and put it on top and I would just have to fold this jacket like that to have it sit out. Are you joking? Look how cute this is. This is so dang cute. Gobsmacked, speechless, stunning. Yeah, I definitely want to get a pair of loafers. I mean, I like the sparkle, but these just aren't the loafers for me. Like I said, I really don't like the mules. They just feel weird, but I don't have any other shoe that I think would look good with this. Maybe my red ballet flats. Like I think that might work. I actually really like pairing red and blue together, but I think a light brown loafer is going to be on my wish list, which is so funny because I was thinking about it and I was like, no, it's going to be a black loafer for sure. But this outfit is screaming for a brown loafer or a brown boot. I would also, because I, I don't have any brown boots, maybe even a western boot, like a suede. And so maybe this nice caramel color in a suede boot. I feel like a suede western boot is really having a moment right now, and I think they're perfect for spring. Do you guys love it? This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna move on because otherwise I'm just gonna like talk about this outfit for a million years. I feel very cute. I feel so cute. I'm really excited to wear this. I feel like I look like I walked like straight out of Cezanne. Like I feel like I. I mean, are you kidding me? Fashion influencer who? Fashion influencer me. Okay, let's do the other blouse. I mean, I don't know how we're gonna top this because this is, this is like perfection. I crushed it. Okay, I've got the white blouse on underneath. This outfit feels very Ralph Lauren to me. Whenever I walk past their store, they've got this very, I mean, they've always been very like that true Americana old money style, but lately they've been doing a lot of Western and I don't think this is like totally a Western look, but I think there's elements. I think this jacket, wait, this jacket is Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Not me being like, oh, I'm just inspired by Ralph. Like this is literally a Ralph Lauren like jacket. I got this at the Dumbo Flea in the summer with my mom. So this is secondhand as well. I really like this. So I've got the blouse underneath and what I like is having this like little trimming peek out. I've been talking about this a lot. This is one of my favorite things that I've been seeing trending and in styles lately is having like a little bit of a ruffle peek out. I have my J. Crew one, which I really like, but this one's nice because it's more open. It's more of a V-neck and it's just like, it's just layering the neckline really nicely. And then I put on the coach belt and then I have my, so this top is and other stories and the bottoms are also and other stories. They're that nice, front pocket jean and these are actually cropped they're like a little wide crop so they're definitely more spring and summer and then i've got my red mary jane ballet flats on and then i paired it with this is a fossil bag that i thrifted just a big toe it's like worn in kind of ragged it's just it kind of it's like my birkin <laughs> this tote is my birkin bag i put everything in here i carry my laptop i go on the plane with this i go grocery shop like this is the catch-all for me 15 dollars real leather and she just like she never lets me down i also think i could pair it with this dooney i just wanted to switch it up a little bit to give some more variety this outfit just feels very sophisticated this is like a doctor's office outfit do you know what i mean like i always feel like i need to dress up when i go to the doctors which is like dumb but like as a woman they already don't take you seriously and so like as a young woman girl double down they don't listen to anything you say so um yeah this is definitely like going to the doctor core right like hello uh, sir i'm here and i am classy and i I'm a mature lady. Please respect me. <laughs> Don't you guys love all of the characters that I make? Like, there's like a plethora of characters. Why am I holding my phone? I don't even know why this is in my hand. So this is what the blouse looks like, tucked in. This is something I would have worn in high school. This is something I'm wearing now. And this is something that I will wear probably 20 years from now. Like this is quintessentially me. I think that burgundy jacket pulls it more fall. I think if I throw on this trench coat, then it's gonna look very, very spring. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I love this trench paired with this blouse and also this belt I feel like is really like kicking it next level. This is so stunning. I feel, I feel like cool girls wear trench coats. Like I feel like the really, really fashionable, stylish girls know how to rock a trench coat. And I feel like this is the outfit. This is the freaking outfit. I am really loving this red belt with the red shoes too. I think that's so cute. I also took off my bobble earrings for this one. I love those earrings, but with this outfit, it felt a little bit too much. Like some outfits yearn to be more. <laughs> and some yearn to be simple. And that collar outfit is an outfit where you can kind of punch it up. You just keep going, keep going, keep going. Because it's got such a defining statement, like that big collar, 
I can do bobble earrings, I could have probably tied some ribbon in my hair, I could do some big funky glasses, frames, maybe some unconventional shoes that don't really work and it would look good. This outfit is is very classic, so this, this blouse, it's a very classic cut, these trousers, these jeans, very classy. The belt, simple. The shoes. That's it. Don't overdo it. If I add anything else to this, if I added a bow in my hair, I don't know, it might look too trendy. You gotta honor the outfit. <laughs> you gotta listen. What is she calling for? What does she want? She wants to be simple, and so we're gonna let her be. Again, another one that I just don't want to take off. Probably because I'm so starved for spring fashion. <sighs> I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like this looks pretty dang good. Like, this looks really... Nice. I'm shocked. I truly, I outdid myself with this one. Wow. Okay, let's move on to the skirts. Because I'm on a freaking roll. Okay, this outfit is very Sandy Liang inspired. I have my little brass bow earrings in, but I also think this would look so, so good with my dangly big pearl earrings. I really couldn't choose. I like love both equally, but the bows feel very Sandy Lang. I also tied a little ribbon in my hair. I would probably do a longer ribbon, but I just didn't want to go cut a new piece. This is like something I have left over from when I did the pigtails. So what I love about this outfit is that we have a defined waist, but it's kind of ambiguous. It's tied, but it doesn't really cinch me a lot. You know, I have this extra little ruffle layer. I love this top. It was part of a Target designer collab and I bought it on clearance. I think I paid like 10 bucks for this. I love this thing so much. I, I just, there's a lot of details that, that I love. If I was wearing this out, I would give this and the skirt a good steam. I just love these big puff shoulders. I love this interesting shape. I love the volume. Like this is always a fashion forward piece. If I want to be comfy, but I want to look interesting, I wear this top. It's just got a lot going on that I love. And I wear it with skirts a lot. Cause like I said, I love this double layer. Just like a lot of volume, you can't really see my body shape, it's just like... It's very simple, yet it's so interesting. So I've got the Red Mary Janes on, I like, I love this so much. Again, it's just so feminine, it's so cute, and like, I did a fantastic job thrifting for spring. I don't think I'm gonna get that many more things because I just, these few things that I got are so good. I don't really know what else to say because it is a fairly simple outfit, it just, I love it so much. This also feels very, very me. I feel like this is my personal style to a T. It's like classy, it's elegant, it's really feminine, but it's interesting at the same time. Now that I've been holding this mug with my outfits while I talk, how cute would this outfit be with a bright yellow bag? I think that's gonna be my next eBay hunt. Like a bright leather yellow bag or even cobalt blue, the primary colors. That's just like my thing lately. I just, I love them. There's just certain outfits that when you put them on, you just feel like yourself. I just, I feel so good in this. Ugh, just so, 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 so cute. Okay, and this is the last outfit. Also, a banger. This is so good. Okay, let me take the blazer off real quick so you can really see the structure of this skirt, what I was talking about. So originally when I bought this, I imagined wearing, I have like a chunky black turtleneck and that's what I thought I would style it with, but black just kind of seemed too on the nose. Like that was the obvious choice. And so I went with navy blue. I know that's like not <laughs> that much different, but I think it's just like a fun styling choice because then I could match it with my navy blue hat. Also, this has pockets. Of course, put the belt on. Do you see how big this is? It has this incredible shape to it. I think this is so, this, this looks designer to me. And then I put it with my hunter boots. I think it would look really good with my Vagabond boots. I think this would look great with loafers as well, but I don't know. I think there's just something really cool about a rain boot. Abs absolutely love, like I, there's really no words. I also just put on these chunky like gold hoops. I think the rain jacket was again, like a more obvious choice, but I thought, let's see about a blazer because this brown color of this blazer matches the belt. And then I grabbed the vintage 
vintage coach again, also matching the belt. I also, I think that mixing colors is such a fashion lie, like navy blue and black don't go together, brown and black don't go together, like all that is just like bullshit <laughs> in my opinion. Those color combos tend to be the coolest, like if you can pull off a fashion taboo, that makes you even more stylish, do you know what I mean? This is so wonderful. <laughs> That's really all I can say. I'm I'm just so obsessed. This to me is checking all the boxes of my equestrian themed fashion that I've been just really coveting. This is the English countryside outfit that I've been talking about, you guys. This is it. My character for her. <laughs> She's going to look at her horse that her husband just bought her. This is so new age Princess Diana. I know she would approve of this outfit. There's just a lot of elements at play here that I love. I love the baseball cap with a blazer. That to me is like match made in heaven. We've got our little vintage pieces that I love. I, I just truly cannot get over the structure of this skirt. I'm taking this off again so you can really just like take in the skirt. I mean, oh my gosh. I just feel like if I saw someone wearing this, it would definitely turn my head. Yeah, like equestrian, like outdoors, like this looks like it was made out of like um, the coats that the horses wear <laughs> when they're outside or when they're like in the barn sleeping. I don't know. I I didn't grow up on a farm, but that's what I imagine. That's what they look like, right? It looks like this was made out of a horse blanket, which I love. I, I demand to wear this in the countryside. Take me to Scotland, take me to England, T take me to Ireland. This is what I would wear if I was in Vogue, standing next to like a really beautiful, majestic horse. Yeah. Yep. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm, I'm, I'm virgin on that goofy mood where I can just start spitting jokes for way too long. <laughs> We wrapped up the styling. That was everything that I bought in January. Everything bought, everything styled. I feel like I got some really cool pieces. I feel like I got pieces. I'm not just buying clothes anymore. I'm buying like statements, you know? They're like just, oh, it's so, like I got such good stuff. I'm like on a high. I'm on that thrifting high right now, like tr truly. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. Let me know if you would style something maybe in a different way. Let me know what your best thrift find was this month. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Definitely click subscribe. We're growing. We're growing at a much faster rate than I thought we would, people. I My goal for 2024 was to hit 5,000 subscribers. And we're only like a thousand away. So I think we can hit 10K by the end of the year. It really, really helps me out if you guys subscribe. So thank you so much for doing that. And then if you wanna stay up to date with me on a more day-to-day -day level, my Instagram is linked down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.